back, everybody. I got a new bag for Christmas. Big surprise, right? So a while back, I did a National Geographic Africa Collection messenger bag, and I was blown away by how well made it was. Well, we have another National Geographic, but this is the Maui Collection, and again, I'm blown away. So stick around, we'll dive right in. The National Geographic Maui Collection Backpack is 16.93 inches high, it's 11.2 inches wide, and 5.12 inches deep. It's actually made by Manfrotto for National Geographic, and it's just a really pretty bag. So let me show you around. The zippers are just your standard zippers. Nothing real special about them other than they open and close super easy. The material is almost like a, it doesn't say Cordura anywhere on it, but it feels just like the Cordura material. And then on the bottom, you've got the same material only in a gray. The bag feels good. I think it's a really pretty color. And I'm just impressed with how simplistic but well made it is. It has a latch here. It has a flap that opens to reveal a mesh pocket. And I just keep a pin and a and a notebook. This has become my new favorite bag, probably because of the color, but it's not black, and I like that. It does have dual water bottle pockets, one on either side. It does not have side access, so for all you guys that like that side access, this ain't the bag for you. This upper compartment will zipper. I just leave mine open uh, so I can have quick access to whatever's inside there. If you wish to close it down for more added security, probably if I was on a flight or something, I would I would keep this zippered. And then when you open this pouch, it doesn't go anywhere. Now up top, you've got a pretty good size storage compartment up here that you can access from inside the back of the bag. And I just carry my little first aid kit and a couple of tripods. But you could carry your lunch up here, too, if you wanted to. And one thing I like about this bag is the entire back opens. And I like that. The straps, they don't look like they would do much, but they're completely adequate. They're very comfortable. There's not a ton of adjustment to them, but they work. And then it does have a grab handle up here. It's not the most robust handle, but I don't carry a whole lot in this bag, so... It, it's worked out fine. I do wish this was a little bit thicker. So let's dive into the meat and potatoes of the bag. It opens clamshell and inside, voila. Isn't that pretty? It's just gray and yellow. Very simple, very plain. I love the color scheme. If you remember on the African, it was kind of a more of a bold color scheme, whereas this is just very, very plain, very simple. And I like that. It will hold my 13-inch MacBook Air with no problem. Now, I've got my M6 Mark II, which is a mirrorless camera with a lens attached, with a spare lens, with a microphone, spare batteries, a tech bag, and my Osmo Action 4, which has lately been my go-to camera. So that compartment that I showed you earlier that had the first aid kit, you can access it from here, and everything is right there. So dual access to this little compartment. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, the dividers, you can configure this however you want to. It will hold a full-size DSLR with a couple of lenses. You can configure this completely different, and it, it actually does hold quite a bit. Now, I've never had a Manfrotto bag, but the two National Geographic bags that I've had that have been made by Manfrotto... I'm impressed. I was impressed enough that when I saw this one, I had to pick it up. They're not expensive. This one will set you back about $60 if when you can find them. That was another reason I went ahead and picked it up because they're getting hard to find. So as you can see on me, it's not a huge backpack. It doesn't look like it's going to try to turn me over backwards or, and it's very, very comfortable to wear. Now, as you guys know, I have a lot of bags. 
And Amazon has another National Geographic Made by Manfrotto bag on their website right now that's just black and gray. And I'm tempted to get that one as well. If it's as well made as this Maui and the Africa collection was, it's a heck of a bag and it comes in like at $41 right now. I'll leave a link to, to these in the description below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And if you're just wanting a really simple but well-made bag that'll hold everything, this might be a good option for you. So I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. And I will be dropping a video the day after Christmas. Be looking for that. And we are just right there almost at 500. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I couldn't have done it without you. And I'll see you next time.